safety grades, like class, everything, any other information that's been so I'm not sure I'm, I'm now presenting to you um, a Jacqueline friend. Uh, sorry, Jacqueline fan. Um, so, um, as, may I call you Jacqueline? Yes, please. Yes, thank you. Um, Jacqueline has been graduated from the MMU LLB, having finished the course in CPE, and it turns out we have we have been classmates for say um, three years. Yeah, and well, I recognize we we recognize each other, and I only remember that I sat in front, and I think you sat at the back. <laughs> yes. Um, so Miss Chaplin here um, did her first degree in, um, in UK in the Bachelor's of Art in Linguistics and Sociology as a major, and the year um, after you graduated, uh, yeah, um, Ms. Jacqueline here had uh, did another LLM focusing on the gender, and this was done in, also in the UK. Uh, after graduating from her master's and her bachelor's uh, degree, she had uh, came back to Hong Kong and found the first job working in the solicitor firm, and she, as I understand, is still working there. Um, in the same year, she had started a CPE course uh, by the Hong Kong Youth Space and MMU. Um, sorry, let me clarify. It's the Manchester Metropolitan University in UK. Um, I asked why. Um, why did you start the uh, CPE in the same year as uh, working as a solicitor, or, or let me put it. Um, why do you do uh, law? Um, I, as I understand, that's not much um, really relevant. But since she's been working in the farm, like she thinks that a CPE or legal studies would help her, and she had not much experience like me in the legal field. Um, uh, Jacqueline here. Uh, had worked on policy and um, family law and PI cases during her work in the firm. And this, um, I mean, she's working as a, as a paralegal and assisting in litigations, but uh, she rarely attends um, trials. And it's just funny that I asked Ms. Jacqueline that uh, she didn't like to, she didn't like litigation as in speaking as a barrister that much because same as me, she had stage fright. Um, yeah, so. And um, also, um, she also say that if she had not got into PCLL, she would love to study Japanese studies going to, to Japan um, because she loved the culture there, especially the food. And I agree on that. As for the career choices, um, Due to the skills learned and mostly, I guess, stage fright, mm -hmm. she would love to be a solicitor. And um, as we agree that for PCLL, they we both expect it will be really tough because it will, um, I mean, sorry, because uh, we are doing work and study at the same time. And also, this. Uh, it turns out the timetable is quite hectic. At first we thought that we might only get like four days a week, and it turns out we got five or six. Oh, well, sometimes we get three, so it's, it's good. And um, I also interviewed um, Strachlan that uh, she find interest in PI cases uh, because there are new stuff that she didn't know and she could learn so much, and say, she said that uh, she didn't know that there are some things that, that could be done, such as um, you could be represented, um, sorry, when the client is mentally um, not well, or uh, yeah, um, she can be uh, represented by a next friend. 
So this is my presentation, and thank you. Thank you. Um, she made uh, the the mood is um, when the the way she presented is quite made it quite um, relaxing, and then um, she also um, made um, how can I put it um, make sure with me whether the way she put the things is in right order, confirming with me the fact. Um, and then, should I be the one to give it back only? No, no, everybody will give it back. Okay, but I'm the one. Yes, yes. I'm, I'm not already satisfied, sorry. <laughs> oh, that's okay. <laughs> A little bit panicked. <laughs> um, oh, um, and then, uh, I guess, Quite enjoying her her speech. Right, I have the same feeling too. Uh, she was loud and clear, mm -hmm. and and uh, at good pace of speech. Basically, we hear every word, and uh, for I don't know whether there's a first attempt here in a sort of really public presentation. It was impressive. Uh, I can't see much state flag share in the end. <laughs> so congratulations, a very good good job, guys. Thank you. So we move on. Rain thanked to you. Uh, Rain said she wants people to know that her. Sorry, uh, firstly, you have to give your own name first. Oh, my name first, yes. okay. My name is Abby. Uh, my last name is Ngao, a little hard for uh, people to pronounce. And Ngao. 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 N G A B. Ngao N G. Yeah. Yes, okay. Rain with the X, so don't. Leave that out. Remember, there's an S after rain. 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 Uh, oh, yeah. um, law degree uh, from the Newcastle University in the UK, and she told me she's uh, brought up in Hong Kong, but she speaks very fluent English, and uh, she have a very um, impressive work experience related to the legal field. She now works in the IT department of Baker McKinsey. And uh, she had previously finished three summer internships there, right? Oh, no, in another firm. In another firm, yeah. Because <laughs> um, I'm not very good at those name of the law firms, so she excused me for not telling me all that. Mm -hmm. She just had three previous internships in a legal firm and a law firm, and now she works in Bacon McKinsey. And, um, she also previously worked in Mayor Brown JSM, um, also an internship there, right? You work with one of the ex partner there, and um, you specialize in civil litigation while you work with this uh, person, this ex partner of the firm, right? Because uh, I'm not very good at those law firms and how they work, so I didn't go any further. Exactly. But just the name. And next, I asked Rings about her interests. She likes reading, especially detective fiction, and her favorite author, uh, writer, is Aga, Agatha Christie. I never read anything from this author, so she excuses me again for <laughs> not um, going into detail on those detective stories. But then she said, if, um, even though she likes detective stories, she's not into criminal law, she likes civil litigation, civil law. And I think that means she will uh, continue on with the civil uh, thing. Oh, um, uh, I don't know what I'm going to say. So then the next thing. Previously, she had an LPC in London. It's similar to the PCLO here. And she said she expects um, this program to be similar to the PCLO that we're going to uh, have in this coming two years. And she's not expecting like, a um, huge difference. 
uh, in terms of the syllabus and all of those coursework. But she doesn't mind um, going through the same material over, and she said this is a refreshing uh, course, which is good. Uh, so she get to get to um, be reminded of the law. Um, I think the things that distinguish her from uh, I don't know about you, from me is that her impressive working experience, her impressive resume especially in the uh, legal field. She worked in all these big firms. Uh, that must be a good exposure to all the legal practices and, and maybe you have uh, great contacts with people. And I think that might that definitely help in your legal career. And that's pretty much all I have uh, for the interview. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I'm right, okay. So today I'm introducing to you my new friend, Conrad. Yes, so um, in order not to miss anything, I will just follow the structure here shown on the course outline. So this is Conrad. Um, he studied in Nottingham University for three years, uh, taking an LLB course. Um, it's interesting because he actually finished his LB curriculum before he turned 21 years old. So that's really young and he is now only 26, but in between he actually did an LM, uh, LPC in the UK, and then uh, he came back to Hong Kong to study this L, uh, PCLL curriculum. So that's quite a lot of degrees uh, compared to, I guess, most of us in this room. Uh, and he also had quite a lot of working experience. Um, he worked as a paralegal in the United Kingdom uh, at the Avery Emerson Solicitors for one and a half year. Um, most of his work are on litigation and family law. Uh, she, uh, he came back to Hong Kong in early 2017 and he is now working in Casey Ho and Fong, uh, also a solicitor firm. Um, so, uh, there are a lot of interesting stories of his work, and he actually told me some of them, uh, so I'll just um, maybe tell one or two here. So, um, like he worked on some um, testatorship uh, case, and uh, he need to like determine the validity of wills for his clients, uh, and that requires like expert evidence, so he actually also has a lot of contacts with the experts. Uh, in this regard, and also uh, he works on a lot of family cases, for example, uh, for a father who tried to kick out uh, her, his ex-partner from the house. Um, and then for uh, his interests, um, he actually has a wide variety of interests. For example, he plays the piano, he plays the tennis, and he, uh, he does a lot of sports, including rock climbing. Uh, that's quite interesting to me because I've never tried that before. Um, and he intends to become a solicitor in the uh, future. Um, and he is already like planning for his career because he's now working in a solicitor firm, as I told you before. Um, so his ex expectation on PCLL actually um, echoes with mine. Uh, we both want to get a first set and pass and also good <laughs> grades in all the courses. And I guess um, that's also uh, most of our wishes in this room. Um, and uh, yeah, so he does not have um, any more information that would like me to mention, uh, but I would like to highlight that. Uh, he actually uh, studied in a uh, local primary school before uh, going to the United Kingdom for studies, and he speaks really good English. Yeah, that's the end of my presentation. Thank you. All right, thank you. So today I'm going to introduce you, my buddy, Bill Pong. Uh, sorry, Tiffany Pong. Yes, Pong. Pong Kuan Yu. Yes, that's me. Tiffany, okay, thanks. Yes, please proceed. Yes, um, Bill did his LLB through um, taking CPE and then through the Manchester Metropolitan University's sort of degree. 
Um, he is now working in the government department, labor department, as their occupational and safety officer. His duty includes um, enforcement of some legislation relating to um, occupational safety. Um, he also do accident investigations, sometimes at night as well. He also do the, uh, he is also responsible for um, prosecuting people who did something wrong <laughs> in the accident. Um, he, he joined this labor department in 2011 and he did his, um, he started his CPE in 2014, so I asked him what prompted you to start your legal study. Some change in his life, and he wants to explore um, more um, career choices. So he started his CPE in 2014, but now he's still working in that labor department. Um, so I asked him, What do you want to be in the future after? Doing his LL, he said he wanted to be a he wants to be a solicitor because um, he have um, experience in the construction field, so he might want to be a construction lawyer. But he will still explore more options through these two years and some more work experience. Um, he expects the PCL to prepare him to be a good solicitor, of course. Um, lastly, I asked him. Uh, what, your, what do you do in your spare time, what your interests are. He said he loves staying at home like I do, uh, get some rest, get, uh, get away from the stress from work. Um, he also loves to go to seaside, stroll the seaside or go hiking with his friends. That's what, that's my presentation of Bill. Right, thank you. Yes. Okay. Hello everyone, my name is Vivian Yao. Vivian Yao Wai Today I'm going to introduce Vivian Yao Wai yes. yes. I'm going to introduce Mr. Stephen Kern to all of you. Actually, we are both Hong Kong ULB students, so we have known each other since year two in our school visit event. Because we were both the student ambassadors in Hong Kong, that's why we met in the event. Although we, I believe we attend some same lectures but we didn't share the same tutorials before so it's the first time we met again here in the tutorials so i'm going to introduce you that um, he is now uh, working as a full-time research assistant in hong kong clinical education center where his job would be divided in two aspects the first one is the free legal advice in which he's going to conduct some interviews with his clients and do some legal research and then present the case to the duty lawyers and in the end to accompany the duty lawyers to uh, have the official interviews with the clients and provide some free legal advice. While another aspect of his job is to handle some miscellaneous prisoners' cases which is relevant to some criminal appeals he would work with his colleagues to see whether some cases have some grounds to appeal and they will negotiate with the legal aid department. And uh, I think he's quite interested in the criminal law. That's why he told me he wants to be a police inspector and or a solicitor in criminal law in the future. So, and he said that if he can't be a criminal solicitor, civil litigation or like such as personal injuries cases, he would be, he, it would be also something he would be very interested to do so. And his interest would be to read some Chinese and Japanese fictions and also go running. And we have discussed together that um, how our expectation in PCL, which is also first of term past, and learn some practical legal skills such as advocacy skills, presentation and also some drafting skills. And he thinks that um, he will have quite a lot of uh, schedules in the coming two years and he hopes he would make his decisions as to what to do after graduation from the PCL. That's what I have learned. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. So my name is Conrad Jun Wang Ho, and I'll be presenting uh, Yvonne uh, Light Wapner. Uh, so I've just met Yvonne Lang to uh, this this evening, 
Um, she did her degree, uh, her degree is uh, government and law, which is a double degree. Well, at first she wanted to have a first choice of uh, politics. Unfortunately, due to trying to get a, um, getting more uh, advice from the parents, she finally decided to get this degree to get, to get more exposure for a better career. Now, for the first three years, she did the social science, which also comprised of some more courses. And then for the last two years, she did the LLB. Unfortunately, she is very committed with uh, a lot of executive committee. She wasn't able to go to uh, any exchange opportunities. But if she were to, be, uh, to, get, uh, to go for exchange course, she would go to Denmark, I believe so. Uh, now, she has a lot of fruitful experiences to what I uh, think she is trying to achieve to become a barrister. So now she went to Dennis Chen, the chamber, and uh, for a summer and winter, and uh, and also then she went to a warm man kid chamber. Then subsequently, Eric Shum chamber, and now she's working at Bone mm, Solicitor. So she's got a lot of fruitful experiences and doing a lot of exposure to, to in particular criminal litigation. At first, she told me her interest was also work as well, so which is which is criminal litigation. But after some more questions, she told me she enjoyed reading, uh, traveling. Unfortunately, not much time to do so. But she also enjoyed uh, learning languages, in particular Spanish and German. Now, both of our aims is very similar. We want to get good grades in PCLL and hopefully get our first pass. Um, uh, so, so that would be my presentation of Yvonne. Thank you so much. Um, hello, I'm Jasmine Wong, Ting Kok, and I'm going to introduce um, a Fu Jian Gu Liang, Ling Ye Yolanda. She, um, I'll start. Yolanda? Yolanda. Ling Ye Yolanda. Uh, the English name? Yolanda. Yolanda. Y-O-L-A-N-D-A. -A. Yolanda. So I will just start with the education. She actually um, did a degree on human resources in uh, Northeast Normal University in Changchun in China. And after that, she came to Hong Kong and studied a master in finance in Lingnan University. And how, how to pick a PCLL course, she actually did the CPE as the top up. LLB course from the Hong Kong New Space. So I'm now going to move on to the work experience. So after the master degree in um, uh, Lingnan University in Hong Kong, she actually started working in a local insurance company called Target, and she is still uh, working in that company and uh, in the claims department. So it's actually like after we fill in the insurance form, we will actually give it to her. So we've been so um, so um, the work is quite varied, and she actually um, for I will actually move on to the career choice first. Um, after doing this PCL course, she actually um, is considering two paths. The first path is continue to. Uh, develop in the insurance uh, industry, keep um, uh, to get to a higher rank in her current company, or to become a solicitor, um, and maybe in the litigation field. Uh, for her interest, she actually um, enjoys hiking and doing exercise and going to the gym. Uh, so, and her interests are really quite similar to me. And for the expectation in the PCLL course, uh, we both um, hope to explore more about uh, the practical side of the legal industry and to improve on our drafting skills or presentation skills. And there's actually a quite interesting and exciting news for me to share. Uh, she's actually um, doing her permanent residence uh, interview uh, next Monday. So we can actually celebrate with her to get the Hong Kong permanent residence afterwards. So tonight is very good training. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the end. Thank you.
Thank you. Good evening, everyone. I'm Rain Span, and I'm going to introduce to you Miss Abby Ah at the very back. Um, she actually did her LLB from um, through the University of London, uh, the extension program, the external program. And then the reason for her to choose law, it's because she finds it something good to know about, and the fact that she has actually. Um, like experienced something not very nice before, so I think she want to study law as kind of self protection, that, and then so that like for the next time onwards she will know how to better protect herself. Um, there's one thing that she's quite she uh, it's quite distinctive from everyone of us. It's that she has never worked in a legal field before. What? She is currently working. She would like to keep it as a secret between the both of us. But <laughs> but then um, she would like every one of you to know that she actually worked um, in a research and development lab, and then she worked with a group of scientists before, and then she actually have a few publications as well. So. Um, her, she hopes that she can become a barrister in the future and that she told me she doesn't have any thought at the moment about the PCLL because she was trying to uh, see if she can fit in well and to pursue her dream as barrister later. And her leisure and interests, it's completely different from me because she likes to work out and go to the gym every other day for two hours in the mornings from seven to nine which is i think very <laughs> persistent i like as for me i just work out whenever i want to lose some weight so, <laughs> so i think this is very good practice to keep yourself healthy and um, that's all i would like to say about happy yeah. thank you well, so it's now my turn to introduce our new friends tiffany paul Guan Yu. Tiffany, she, uh, she grew up in Hong Kong and then she went to the UK to study her LB in the University of Kew. And she got the LB in 2014. And after that, uh, she uh, completed her conversion exam and uh, went back to Hong Kong and started her work in the legal field. She has a very extensive exposure in the legal field. She worked in the uh, Gardens Chambers for several months and then after that she joined Holdings and which is a criminal litigation solicitor firm and she well she worked quite a lot there she prepared trials and for example uh, in the case of, of some money laundering cases and reverting uh, the uh, course of public justice and also she will prepare the binding of uh, submissions to the DOJ and attend the chambers meeting. And she worked in Hollings for a year and now she is working in JSM uh, in the SF Finance team. And what the SF Finance team is about and I asked her and she explained to me that uh, she's now working in the uh, Aviation Finance team which will uh, arrange the purchase agreement to uh, purchase aircrafts, uh, which is something that is very uh, new to me. And, and in her spare time, she loves go to the gym after work, and during the weekend, she loves having gatherings with the family and friends. And um, I think due to uh, her extensive uh, legal exposures. She want to. Uh, she want to be a solicitor, but she has not yet decided which field she will go to. Be specialized in. So therefore, during this uh, PCL course, she expect to uh, further polish and enhance her skills and uh, and also find out uh, which field which uh, would suit her the most, and she. Uh, once told me that she wants to be a barrister, but she think that uh, a girl being a barrister is might not be that easy because uh, 
you need to be tough and, and to be fierce in order to survive in the field. <laughs> yeah. And I think this is all I can tell about Tiffany. Right, thank you. Uh, I learned that uh, Lin is, uh, is a, uh, in, in mentoring the spelling, Lin is like the L-A-M lamb in Cantonese. My last name, I mean. Lin? Lin, Lin yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shu, yeah, yeah. No, uh, for I would like to introduce you, uh, Jasmine Wong, uh, my new friend. <laughs> uh, we met each other uh, this night, the first time. That's the first time. He, uh, she uh, graduated from University of Bristol in UK. Got. Uh, her, uh, she got her LLB degree there. Then uh, she came back to Hong Kong. Now he worked in the Hong Kong Exchange as an MT. Uh, he worked for uh, two years up to present as a as a MT. Uh, she need to uh, be uh, his need to be rotated to a different position. And now he worked in uh, she worked in her fifth position as a. Uh, uh, in the market surveillance department, she needs to uh, uh, watch out whether there is an irregular stock movement and find out and mo uh, monitoring the report and uh, follow up the market update and sometimes coordinate some meetings. Uh, uh, he likes to do some exercise like me. Well, uh, he usually goes to gym in the fitness uh, first. In uh, maybe in the central center, center I think, and he likes to do yoga and Pilates. Uh, it's just uh, it's, uh, some typical girls' interest. Like, Better keep a distance. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and uh, she uh, her expectation from PCR is to uh, maybe for be more familiar with some uh, drafting, uh, drafting documentation uh, skills and. And be more practical in the law field, and he she want to uh, move back to the lawyer trail uh, maybe after the uh, graduation from PCL. And she did not uh, not yet decided to uh, be a solicitor or a barrister at present. And she want to draw specific attention is that she work very late <laughs> in in uh, every 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 day. Uh, most time up to uh, work to 10 p.m. So I think it's a very very hard work. Mm -hmm. And she told her boss to uh, leave earlier for <laughs> these classes, but she but her boss did not yet uh, specifically reply her requirement. Yeah. All right. so. Hi, Chen, and I'm going to introduce you my partner, Miss uh, Vivian Yao Wai Yan. Uh, as uh, she already mentioned, uh, we met uh, in the HKU in 2002, uh, in 2012 when uh, we joined the uh, HKU Student Ambassadors Program. Uh, Vivian uh, is a fresh graduate from the uh, Arts and Law degree of HKU, and she's now working as an executive officer at the Immigration Department. And uh, she has two major duties. The first one is to provide general administrative support uh, like photocopying, filing, etc. And the second part of the duty is uh, to provide counseling and training to immigration offices, which I find quite interesting uh, because normally we just assume that they will receive trainings, but uh, Vivian actually also provides counseling service to them. And uh, Vivian's interest uh, lies in history and in, in particular history of the United Kingdom. And so she likes reading all the no faults and fictions related and also watching uh, all the uh, related movies. And for her career expectation, uh, she has two options. The first one is administrative officer at the government, and the second one is uh, a solicitor at the Department of uh, Justice. And she hopes that um, in the second year of the PCL program, she can make the application um, uh, to join. Uh, either of the careers which both involve uh, public interest. In terms of the expectation for the PCR program, uh, Vivian hopes uh, firstly to develop uh, practical legal skills in particular on drafting and interviewing and she hopes that uh, by the end of this program she can um, 
qualify as a solicitor to help uh, the clients in need in Hong Kong. And yeah, I think that's the end of my presentation on LinkedIn. Thank you. My name is Jacqueline Tan, and I'm presenting Natalie Yuan, being the last one to do the presentation. Um, sorry, I, 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 I don't have the stage right. <laughs> I'm trying to be calm. Um, You're all right. We can't see the shape. <laughs> um, <laughs> so just relax. Lately, um, her first degree is psychology um, before joining her second degree as a LL, an LLB. Um, we were classmates for the last two years. Um, we, as she said, we recognized each other more of the position we pretend to sit in the class. <laughs> <laughs> um, we, we know each other's name until today. Uh, not until today. Um, Natalie do psychology in um, the UK. I've already said it. Mm. And then. Um, she started her education in the UK Centre for Four. And in terms of at, um, work experience, she has been working in um, chambers, shadowing um, barristers um, since her graduation in 2014, if my um, understanding is correct. Um, in, when, uh, in her work, um, she mainly um, engaged in litigation, uh, family law cases, and also um, criminal law cases. Um, sometimes she also helped with constructive law as well, um, but not too much, not too much. Maybe it might, I may have get it wrong. Construction law? Construction law. Construction law, sorry. Yes, yes. No construction law. <laughs> They mean different things. Construction <laughs> <laughs> law. Um, she said, uh, because of her work experience, she would like to um, 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 be a barrister, but it's not definite because um, at the same time, she thinks that um, um, there is one picture, being a barrister, there's one picture in, um, in the legal work, but she also wants to know the the picture of solicitor because um, barrister are engaged by the solicitors. She wanted to know more about, she also wants to know the part of what the solicitors do before passing, um, so mm -hmm. engaging them. Right. So, um, so her choice is not yet really decided. Um, and then when I asked her about her interests in the um, area of law, um, she said uh, family law, or when she engaged with it, with, with those cases, is sad because mostly a custody divorce, I mean, it's usually not happy cases. Yes, but then because of her first degree of psychology, she seems to be um, um, understanding their, her clients um, and to a certain extent. That makes her enjoying the work she has and also her personal experience. Um, as for the expectation of PCLL, um, it would be tough, she expected, but then what she expected is when, when we turn into privilege or trainees, um, it would be even harder, much workload with much heavier workload. So um, PCLL would be a, a, a place for us to practice um, before we really enter into the practice, the reality. Um, by the way, she liked way boarding, which I really can see. <laughs> cool. Um, yeah, that's all. For my Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> 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 Is there a good choice? Or what? Or corn rack? I prefer corn rack. You prefer <laughs> 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 <笑>女仔都有權出聲嘅你可以俾啲實際出聲你哋最中意邊個啊邊個代表你哋呢不如舉手啦最中意啊最中意康尼做嗰個舉手嘅邊一個手人喂<笑><笑><笑><笑><
，我可以講啲成啲名先啊。Okay. Okay. 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 Typical Chinese reflection. Nomination. We can nominate somebody else. Thank you. 